Django Forms and Remote Interpreters, Console Terminal and Debugger Improvements, Full Python 3.6 Support, and more. PyCharm 2016.3 is out with many improvements. Let's take a quick look at what's new. PyCharm's longtime support for Django adds two new features. Want to start a new Django project using a remote interpreter? PyCharm now lets you start the new Django project wizard and during the project creation, define a remote interpreter as part of the process. PyCharm then installs Django into the remote interpreter and lets you work as normal. For example, you can use PyCharm to run manage.py tasks on the remote Django. If you use class-based views in Django, PyCharm now works with the forms context and provides auto-completion the same as previously done for function-based views. Python 3.6 comes out at the end of the year and PyCharm 2016.3 now has full support. Variable annotations for type hinting is supported, including an intention to convert from the previous comment-based syntax. The new formatted string syntax is supported with color highlighting and autocomplete. A new PyCharm intention lets you convert earlier Python string formatting to the new 3.6 style. PyCharm 2016.3 includes other support for Python 3.6, including asynchronous generators and comprehensions. PyCharm's Python console has two new features. First, multi-line statements are now nicely indented. You can then copy and paste work from the console into a module. The Debugger Special Variables view focuses on your application by moving rarely used information to a subtree. Next, NumPy arrays, or pandas data frames, can be viewed straight from the debugger. For projects with virtual environments, opening a terminal in PyCharm automatically activates the virtual env. PyCharm 2016.3 has other Python improvements as well. Improved Docker Compose support with multiple Compose files and environment variable support, visualizing test coverage on code branches, and showing per-line profiling information under VMProf. All the features of WebStorm are bundled into PyCharm Professional, and 2016.3 inherits those web improvements as well. Angular 2's CLI support is improved. You can use the IDE to add components and more, tapping into Angular CLI's generation support to produce code that is then registered in your bootstrapping. PyCharm 2016.3 has many features and improvements from the new WebStorm. Support for the Flow type system, TypeScript enhancements, new ES6 intentions, and more. PyCharm's version control tool has many useful improvements, such as simple undo. Perhaps you mistakenly add a Python 3.6 feature, commit the change, and realize your error. The log tab makes it easy to undo that commit, putting a nice UI on the underlying git commands. The log view has other improvements as well. Searching commit messages is much faster, and you can narrow your search, for example by branch. Want to change your projects remote? PyCharm now has a simple UI for showing, then performing, the git operation. And that's not all. 2016.3 includes a productive, visual way to resolve conflicts, and more. PyCharm is built atop the IntelliJ platform, which also saw many improvements. PyCharm Professional includes the features of DataGrip, JetBrains IDE for databases, and we now gain bulk editing support. Change several rows and submit the changes as one operation. Also, font ligatures are now easier to use as we've bundled Fira code. Once set in preferences, you can then gain nice looking code features in your fonts. PyCharm 2016.3 is our third major release for the year, showing a well rounded mixture of new features and gradual improvements. Enjoy the new release, and thanks for watching.